Welcome to video number six of the Types of Chemical Reactions series. Uh, today we're going to talk about combustion reactions, specifically incomplete combustion. So incomplete combustion is when these um, react at low concentrations of oxygen. So there's not enough oxygen in these examples for the, um, uh, the organic compound to completely react. So you get an incomplete combustion. And the problem with incomplete combustion is that it always makes carbon monoxide instead of carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is fine for humans. We breathe it out on a daily basis when we're breathing out our oxygen in our lungs. But by breathing in carbon monoxide, it bonds to the hemoglobins in your blood and it's very dangerous and it will basically suffocate you to death. So an incomplete combustion is not good for you. And that's why it's important to know how to write these. So in the first case, we have four methanes reacting with five oxygen. And we're going to find that it makes two carbon monoxide plus eight waters plus two carbons. Now, it's this CO gas that is the most dangerous for humans. And as you can see, this is a complete or an incomplete combustion. And it contains the five things that you'll always see. So if you see an organic compound reacting with oxygen, it's always going to make carbon monoxide, water, and single carbons. And you know you have an incomplete combustion. So let's look at the second example. Again, I have an inorganic compound with a lack of oxygen, so I know I'm going to create two carbon monoxide, four carbons, and six H2O, six waters. And again, it's an incomplete combustion. It contains all of the things that an incomplete combustion contains and all of our atoms balance. So every carbon on one side is made up for by a carbon on the other side because we cannot lose carbon. So make sure you balance your reactions and there's an incomplete combustion for you.